Eva Norton here with Nextdoor Agents. Today, we are going to walk you through the culmination of months and months and months and months of work. 115 Ming is finally done. And if you've watched any of our previous videos, you know what a beast this house renovation was. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe right down below because I make a new video every single week all about renovations and Warrensburg and Missouri and Whiteman Air Force Base and you're gonna wanna get notified. And my contact information is also right down there. And I talk to people from all over the world on a daily basis who are coming here and either want some help finding a house or just have questions about the area. I love talking to people. Do not hesitate, reach out, call me. Okay guys, like I said, today we are just walking through and seeing the final beautiful project that is 115 Ming. Here we go. I am here at 119 Ming and it is almost done. <laughs> almost done, about a week and a half out from being done. And it's already pre-rented so people are moving in and I'm so excited on this house. This house was a little more than we bargained for, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, the hidden, the termite damage and having to completely rewire and replumb everything. But you know, that's what happens when you buy a house built in the 1800s. You just never know what you're gonna get. So I'm really excited for this house to be done. I can't wait to show you when it's completely done. But for now, I'm just gonna kind of walk through and show you some updates and uh, yeah, hopefully y'all Think it's as cool as I do. <laughs> okay, bye. As you can see, we have appliances. We have a washer and dryer. And then, oh, we have other appliances. So as you can see, we are getting close to done. Oh my gosh, we have so much stuff going on. We have light fixtures. <laughs> They're just rocking and rolling on this house. Bathroom's almost done, oh my gosh. You walk through, slowly but surely. We had to put those, that wood up there because these walls are plaster and there was breakage and that was the easiest way to fix them without redoing all the plaster, which would have been ridiculous. Ooh, closet. Let's see. We have light fixture. We have appliances over here. They're gonna be installed. They're gonna look great. These stairs are brand new. And upstairs, we are working. Oh my gosh, the paint is looking so good. We still have the floors that need to be stained and sanded and sealed, but it's looking like a totally different house. One that someone can actually live in safely. It's magical, magical experience. Oh, we have a vanity. So exciting. We are here at 119 Ming and 115 Ming <laughs> and we are done. We are done. We are done. We are finally we done. We are done. <laughs> we're working on 119 next, so it doesn't feel yeah. like we're done. That's where the address confusion came in. Yeah, but I'm so excited to show you guys everything that we've done to this house. Uh, if you remember, and we'll do like a 
backtrack or I'll share some video here in a second of what it looked like when we first started. Just think, think cockroaches as far as the eye can see and animal poop everywhere and just trash. Trash, 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 trash. Yep. But we have put our heart and soul into this house and it is a thing of beauty mainly because of my husband's just amazing, creative, artistic passion to make this house stunning. And I thought you were a little crazy in the beginning, but oh my gosh, babe, your vision, it is so beautiful. Wrong. Well, yeah, you are. You picked up your paint colors. <laughs> I did, I did. You definitely had your part picking all the light fixtures, so you did an amazing job. Thank you. But I can't wait to show everyone the house, so let's go. Come on in. <laughs> wow. As you guys can see, this is the living room and it is stunning. We tiled the fireplace, painted it green. We have a sliding barn door there to the bathroom. Oh, it's gorgeous. And one wonderful little feature that I just wanna point out is if you look up into the ceiling, we put metal lining the ceiling over insulation and it just looks so darn cool and that was absolutely all this guy right there <laughs> it was a work in progress uh, it was definitely worth all the time we put into it so yeah we planned on putting some lights up there but honestly i got demotivated towards the end because we're starting work on 119 being so we saved some of the extra you know frilly lights uh, we put enough into this house uh, on the inside at least we're starting the exterior right now as well so i'll walk you around and kind of show you some of the details this is my favorite room yeah again lovely wife picked out all the light fixtures yeah menards shout out to menards clearance so if you remember this wall right here yeah. or this stairwell right here used to be a wall with all yeah. the stairs and a second wall and there used to be a door right here that would go up the stairs and they had this old house turned into a, a makeshift duplex yeah so i remember i remember opening that door to go upstairs and just watching the cockroaches just scatter the upstairs tenant was completely filthy it was just roach infested and you know over years and years of just bad maintenance bad property management whatever it may be uh, we need to come in here and just completely gut the property and that's what, what what we did and i think yeah. it turned out great so this whole thing opened up coming into the kitchen i love the burning on the stairs that was all rex so over at backyard pretty. handyman services rex had the idea to burn the stairs and clear coat them i thought it was a great addition to the project yeah okay that's moving into the kitchen oh my favorite is the floors seeing all the weird Hold spots on. On the i mean look at the floors whoa so cool they really are beautiful. I love that we kept these floors and repurposed them. Or not even repurposed them. They're still floors, but they're, they we just have a, character. A light standing. You know, I like to see all the original 100 years worth of people walking on this floor. You can see the wear stains where certain mm -hmm. people were standing here right in front of what used to be a stove. Yeah. So I love being able to <coughs> keep that character in the floor. Mm -hmm. And then I love that we kept the upper cabinets the original to the house. And we had to put in new ones on the bottoms, but it well, looks the bottom really ones, good. The bottom ones didn't quite measure out. We would have kept the bottom ones, but for us to stick a dishwasher in here and to keep the sink centered on the window uh, means we had to have ripped the cabinets out. And the yeah. cabinets that we were getting, the original cabinets were only 21 inches deep, whereas a custom, uh, not a custom cabinet, but a cabinet from Lowe's yeah. where we got ours is 24 inches yeah. deep. So we have new appliances. Moving on, this used to be a scary, like half inside, half outside area. A screened-in porch. A screened-in porch, and we turned it into a beautiful pantry area. And eventually we're gonna put up a bunch of cabinets in here, um, you know, for pantry items, but it was a really good start. And then in here is the washer and dryer. And we moved the electric panel from here to there. Yeah, this door, this threshold going into the washer and dryer never used to be here. This used to be walled off in the washer and dryer room where it sits now. 
used to be just one big washer and dryer room that you had to get to through the master bedroom. Yeah. And we'll go through the master in a second, but we chopped that closet or the washer and dryer room in half, turned it backwards, and that's how we now opened it all up. Yeah. So where all the tenants here can get to the washer and dryer. Yeah. And then look, they're really cool tin on the ceiling. Ah, oh, it looks so cool. Okay. So this is the entrance to, I mean, it's the master bedroom bathroom, but it's in the living room. It's not connected to the master bedroom because we wanted everyone to have access to this bathroom down here. I love the barn door, it's so cool. And I thought my husband was a little crazy when he originally designed this. We but knocked a hole in that wall to get, to make that open. It looks so good. So if you come in here and you see, there's one sink here this beautiful brick thing that I just really like. And then in here, in the bathroom, you have another sink. So it's, there's two vanities, but we used the space that we had to really create this good sized bathroom down here. So it's really, it's really ingenious, my love. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we only added probably 10 square feet of usable space at most for this reconfiguration, but it was so worth it to yeah. get two vanities. Whereas before we could only get one vanity. So that yeah. was the big change is getting a second vanity and getting access for all the tenants. You have three tenants upstairs with one bathroom. Mm -hmm. You have one tenant. These are college boys. These yeah. are in the frat. Yeah. So if it was a single family house for a family, it'd be different. You'd want to have a master ensuite, yeah. but this is not the case. And it's never going to be the case for this house because yeah. it's right in the it center downtown. It will always be a college room. Awesome. <laughs> And then we have the master bedroom down here. So it's a really nice size bedroom. There used to be uh, the closet was here. Closet here. And that's where the vanity's at now. Yeah. And that used to be the access right behind you to what the master bath yeah, bathroom used bathroom to be. used to be. And this is now the master closet. It's a big walk-in closet. Mm -hmm. Big space. Tin in the ceiling. I like that we put up the curtain rods ourselves because we never want to worry about tenants or college students trying to put up curtain rods in our walls and then accidentally ripping them down. So we have like massive industrial, industrial strength curtain rods and they look really good and they were super cheap from the Menards. Thanks for reminding me, I need to go get a TV wall mount. Ah, TV wall mount, yeah. That's the other one. I never let tenants install their own TV wall mounts. Yeah, that's a great idea. Oh, upstairs. Going up the stairs. bedrooms up here. This looks really good. So we had to do, a, this used to be the kitchen portion of the upstairs duplex. Yeah. And instead of redoing all the wood floors, we just laced in plywood. We did a, a, a good sanding job and actually sealed in the plywood. So that looked perfect, but at the same time, again, it's a college room. Right downtown, police station, Bar Street. Bar Street. It's downtown Warrensburg. This is so cool. <laughs> One bedroom. Second bedroom. Looks so good. Yeah, these floors turned out great. It smells so good up here. <laughs> it doesn't smell like animal feces and roach yeah. feces. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ooh, this bathroom looks so good. So this bathroom did have a window right there and there was a round tub, a cloth foot tub, and it was just kind of janky. The floors were rotting. We just completely redid it. To a larger single vanity, 36 inch, and stand up shower. It feels so much bigger up here now that it's done. 
does. And on the other side of the house, there's the college campus. There you have it folks. There is 115 Ming, there's our house. It is beautiful and I'm so excited for the renters to move in today. I mean, there's always things that I look at when I'm doing renovations. There's always things that maybe I would have done differently or I wish I would have put more shelving in or this or that. So every time you do a house like this, you learn something new, which is awesome. But I am very proud of this house. I think that the renters are going to love it and I'm ready to move on and complete 119 Ming right next door. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget to like and subscribe right down below because I make a new video every single week. You're gonna wanna get notified. And also my contact info is right there too. And I talk to people from all over the world. I love talking to people. If you're coming here, if you have questions, reach out, call me. Talk to you soon.